everyone, welcome back to Why Biz Chats, and we have the beautiful Jen Manswell here with us today. How are you, Jen? I am wonderful, thank you. So if you could just tell us um, just briefly about yourself, where you're from, what you do, and where you're currently based right now. So I am from Trinidad and Tobago. That's the most southerly isle of the Caribbean. Um, I started out my journey in the United States in South Carolina, where I met um, Karen, Karen Alexander of the Auntie Karen Foundation, and that's where we worked together while I was matriculating at, at Benedict College. And then I moved over to um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, <clears throat> continued my education, but also continued my performing arts um, base. So I am a performing artist, have been performing since I was eight years old. So I came to the U.S. as a performing artist, did a lot of choral stuff and acting in South Carolina, did a lot of choral stuff, acting, directing, and writing when I moved over to Wisconsin. And now, among, apart from having a day job as a marketing exec, I am the founder of Parable Productions, a full-fledged production company. Wow, amazing. Matt? Um, first of all, could you tell us um, just a few struggles or challenges you face uh, when first creating your business and how you overcame them? You know, uh, the, the biggest struggle with starting my business was starting. <laughs> um, you know, you, you have these visions or dreams for your life. You have these ideas, but then you find yourself wrestling with your own internal insecurities and feelings of um, unworthiness for the magnitude of the, the venture that you want to walk down. And eventually I just had to make the decision, you know, and, and, you know, I received direction from, from God. And I tell people all the time, God's, God's direction is my decision. So once he pointed me to, it is time to start, I, I set aside my fear. It was there, but I set it aside and I went ahead and, and got to work. And since then I've been blessed with the relationships and the resources to get our first show produced, which happened in, um, in May. Um, and the, the challenges continue to be building and growing upon the vision that I've, I've had. You know, the, the enormity of it is what overwhelms and threatens to stop me, but I am a proponent for pushing through things that I am afraid of. So this is how I, I got to the point where I am today. Okay, and um, what overall impact do you want to have, whether it be on um, personal or community level with your uh, professional endeavors? Parable production is all about sharing stories, st stories that uplift, right? Um, we have a theatrical arm, a film arm, publishing, um, digital arm, etc. There are lots of different, we're a multimedia platform. Um, some of the stories are biblical, some of them are not but all of them meant to inspire and change perception. In order for a person to start moving forward in their journey, they have to change the way they think first. So my desire is to leverage these mechanisms of storytelling to transform the thoughts so that people can then transform their lives. That's the impact I hope to have with, uh, with our company. Beautiful. Okay, so we're dying to know, um, when did you first come into contact with the Auntie Karen Foundation and Mrs. Karen Alexander Banks? And what uh, impact did the Auntie Karen Foundation have on your personal and professional journey? So I, I moved to the US in 2001 after having got a scholarship for my undergraduate studies at Benedict College. And I was a starving international student not knowing what to do with my life, <laughs> trying to figure out the food, trying to figure out how to be an American, still haven't figured that part out yet. Um, and I was introduced, one of my professors introduced me to Karen and Karen to me because the, that professor knew that I had had a performing arts past. I, was, I had already done several musical show, musical theater performances and had been singing classical music for quite some time. Um, and Karen was in the market for a writer um, and voiceover actor for a, a character series called the Jamaican Yams Project or the Jamaican Yams series. So 
as she was starting Auntie Karen, this was just at the beginning of the Auntie Karen Foundation. She was starting the Auntie Karen Foundation with that initial vision. And, you know, I'm happy to say that I helped realize that initial vision by writing a series of scripts for her and then voicing several of the characters and connecting her with other actors who could help voice the other characters. From what I understand, it eventually turned into an actual televised uh, show that she uses as a part of the programs for the Auntie Karen Foundation. So that's how I met her and that's the relationship. And really, um, at that point, I hadn't been writing at all, like writing creatively at all. So, so being asked to produce this work really started this trajectory of me developing my own works, which I'm now in the midst of doing. I'm, I've written and produced already one show for Parable Productions. I'm in the middle of writing with my collaborator another piece. Um, and I've written several other scripts for stage performances. I've written several other scripts for video, just, you know, the, the, you name it, I've written it. <laughs> so my point is that, um, you know, the Auntie Karen Foundation really paved the way for me to, 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 to walk this writing path and ultimately turn that writing experience into the production company that I've, I've established today. So what would be your advice for up and coming uh, young entrepreneurs? What's something that you know now that you wish you knew then? Oh, I, <laughs> there are so many things, but you know, I would have to say um, my, the biggest revelation I had was about how easy it is for me to stop me and get in my own way because I continue to, I would continue in the past to second guess what I knew to be true within myself. And getting in my own way doesn't just mean I stop myself, it means I would allow other people to talk me out of my dreams because they have their own preconceived notions of what a person can and cannot do. And so I currently live in the world of limitlessness, number one, because God is at the helm of my life, but also because I am only limited by the imaginations that I, I choose to embrace. And so I don't think I'm incapable of doing anything. I, I really feel deeply that I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. And so my advice to anyone, not just young people, but, but anyone in general, identify what it is you know you want to accomplish and hold on to it for dear life. Don't let anybody else talk you out of it. Don't let yourself talk you out of it. Don't let the way the world is structured make you think that you can't fit within this space because you really can. And the ability to innovate is predicated on your willingness to bust past the uh, status quo. Yes, I said bust. <laughs> bust past the status quo. Well, it's so important for people to have that type of mindset because what you said, like we can stop our own, you know, our own blessings and, you know, stop ourselves from achieving great things. And little do we know we're the only ones in between, you know, us and reaching that goal or that dream. So that's absolutely very important that you touched on that. So what can we expect to see next from Jen Manswell? Oh my goodness. Well, um, with the teams that the, I'm, I'm currently working on three concurrent projects. The first is our next production, which should be coming out in October-ish. We haven't announced a date yet. Um, this is our next online cinematic performance of Jonah, and it is our interpretation of Jonah. So it would be it's gonna be interesting how people react to that. Um, we also are in the midst of developing a television show called H11 Conversations of Faith. H11 is a reference to the scripture Hebrews 11. And so we're, we're having discussions with a variety of people about their perspective on faith, et cetera. Some of them are location shoots where I get to do really cool things like do jujitsu while talk, talk to somebody about faith. That should be funny. Mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, and then we are also, we have a Christmas show coming out. Um, and we, uh, what was the third thing? We also have a podcast and blog series that's coming out in and around the September, October timeframe as well. And that team, one of, one of the team members is actually in Colombia as well. So lots going on over at Parable Production. Yes. So is there, do you have social media where people can get connected and stay in the know about these upcoming projects or a website? Absolutely. So we have our theatrical website called myparabletheater.com. That's where you go to find out the latest about upcoming shows, etc. We also have our Facebook page, which is at Facebook facebook.com slash parable pro 12 parable productions 12 or parable pro 12 we also have our instagram account uh instagram.com slash parable pro 12 we're on twitter twitter.com slash parable pro 12 you're seeing a trend here mm -hmm. and then we are also on youtube so if you want to check out the show that just was just released um on may 22nd h11 illustrations of faith you can go to youtube.com slash parable productions that is youtube.com slash parable productions yeah i'm so excited to look into these and to see what's to come next um well thank you so much for your time today matt do you have any final questions for jen before she goes uh no uh, thank you jen very much for your time and answering our questions and um we've very much enjoyed talking to you it was absolutely my pleasure <laughs>